All right, so Kevin's going to talk us through how to actually go about removing the pulsator and uh, milk line shut off to change the diaphragm. Easiest way. Okay. Take the pulsator cover off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure you pick that up later. Okay, so now you've got two choices here, right? So if you're going to try to pull the pulsator from here without removing the milk line shut off, you have Brackets. to um, make sure that that, Can you see that 90 degree swivel? elbow yeah, is pushed back and away, right? Or down. Be towards the motor. Yeah. Like so. Okay, so now it's pretty much out of the way. So now you can go about twisting the, the pulsator off. If you want to be extremely safe, just pop off the two brackets and then the milk line shutoff will just come away from there, right? So. Yes. Yeah. You can turn that now. Okay, so you go about a quarter turn and get the filter off of there. So that looks like the bind. bottom. Yeah, that's the bind in there. And finish it up. Pulsator comes right out. And now you can see where the where the 90 was turned to. Its normal position is there. And then to remove the pulsator, he just backed it down to there. Mm -hmm. All right. So that removes the pulsator. So there you are. You're ready to go. Okay. And then if you're going to continue on to replace the diaphragm, get the milk line shut off. Essentially two screws. be able to get the um you gotta disconnect the flow cell from the clip okay. here like so yeah and you can manipulate the the elbow whichever way you need to to get it to the back to the hole yeah and then you got access to your screws here yeah so you can't remove the flow cell to give yourself total control right well, then you don't have to disconnect any of the hoses either. Right. So then you would just remove these four screws. the old put in the new there you go. button up yeah that's a good one we get that one backwards quite a bit huh make sure the button is up yeah. then put her back together back through the rack yeah. and whatever it takes to get your elbow situated through there like so. Yeah. Put your full cell back in the clip like so. I like to keep this right down to the bottom. Okay. Your hose, now that you got it apart then you can, uh, if you care to, you can Take this cover off and replace the filter at the same time if you want to. Okay. It's all easy access. I hold the wire in so it doesn't get caught on the uh, stainless or cut it anywhere. Do we have to move that 90 again? Or I will. Okay? I will, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you want that face in the bottom like so.
bottom it out and it'll turn right in and it'll miss the, the you, if you can see the top of it here, it'll, it'll just miss that uh, yep. pulsator. Yep. Now you're locked in, then you want to turn it back again. Okay. Hoses are pinched in yep. free. Yep. You don't want any tight corners. Well, since we added a bunch of hose to that to make that easier. There you are. Right. Then we got the uh, pulsator cover left. Yep. This is button her up at this point. Okay. That one I dropped on the floor. Yeah, that one. Shut off the bracket yet. One screw to hold the pulsator dust cover in place. And then we've got the two stainless steel brackets for the milk line shut. There you have it, huh? It's back together. All right.